All right, hey guys. Today we're going to be doing a Banner Lords versus Spider Twenty. Uh, this week, this challenge came up in the Clan Quest, and I'll be honest, I can't really do most of them, but this is one of the few that I actually was able to uh, put together. So let's start it up and show the basic uh, strategy. So let's talk about our um, Bell for for a second. She's essentially going to be the target of the Spiralings. And we're going to use Seth here to basically keep her alive. And of course, we have block damage, but um, we'll with this one real quick here. And Stagnite will be provided defensive down to the Spider. Ah, you didn't hit it. Alright, it's fine. We'll put the shields up. You can see. Target as usual. Now, we want to look for the spiderlings that are going to come up next. Try to burn them. And uh, make sure the block damage is always afterwards. Um, for me, it's because he is pretty much uh, the fastest one here because of our clan boss. So... You can stun some as well, try to stun some as well. Let's see. A little bit of a burn there. Starting off a little bit rough because of the uh, I'm still gonna do it with the poison. You can have him attack the spider directly because he's uh, pretty tough. Didn't quite start the way I wanted it to start off, but that's okay. Let's see if we can. Oh, he's very stunned. No, I'm not doing enough anyway. What's great is that he does have a, a bit of power to hit, hit, the, hit the spider because of a clan ball spin. And here we go, finally. That's what we needed to happen. But it's okay. Try burning it for a second. Put up the. Sure. Can't burn to these spiderlings. We definitely heal our next turn. Okay, we have a shield that shield up anyway. The shield's last it, and let's drop it again. Oh, it worked my fault. We stopped it. Again, it's gonna take a while. It's a bit monotonous to do this challenge, but hey, it's it's a uh, 350 points, so I'll take it. Sorry, it is a bit too boring. <laughs> it does take a little bit of a while to get it done. If you want to skip on ahead to the build, to the when I show you the builds, you're more than welcome to. But you get the basic gist of this uh, comp. Bell here is really, really great because she can just take take all all of them on. Um, right, extra burn damage there. Our one more hit should be in all we need. Put our shields up because I believe he's about she's about to. Uh, there it is. Yeah. 
Again, she healed, but we're doing way more damage than she's healing, which is uh, perfect for us. Uh, I don't think it matters at this point, but yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. I was done. <laughs> I forget sometimes. And here we go. She doesn't have her healing yet, but we're going to have to R and the last person. Alright, we should have the shields now next turn. Let's heal her up. Bring it close, but I believe we're able to get it. Oh, what? That was a glitch, because I, I clearly did not press that. <sighs> so, uh... Yeah, it was great. She can actually heal herself. There's always a bonus. Please take a minute. Oh, really? Not a fun challenge at all. She never shoots back next turn, which is better for us. Do I beat about it? No, I don't think so. You need a sentiment on the team to be able to do this. Maybe that good, good farm champ would be awesome. Ah, those are just looking up. She should heal herself anyway. I believe that's it. All right, there we go. Seven minutes. A far cry from the uh, 11 seconds I've done before, but hey, it works. You can see here the main damage dealers. Like, Warcaster was pretty decent. Stagnite gets the defensive down. Lock damage always helps, but not bad at all. Again, Speth for the burns on the uh, Spiralings. I know it's kind of annoying, it's one at a time, but... Hey. We're close to our challenge. Alright, so... We can start with uh, Bell here. Again. She's basically built more so for Arena. That's why she has that high, high top speed. Resistance didn't really do anything at all. Again, she's just there to just be the, for lack of a better, better term, punching back for the team. Let's uh, check out Seth. Seth, sorry. Seth, um, even with 92 Prairie, you can see he still misses. But 5k damage. Again, health and defense doesn't matter. You, you saw Bell is going to be the main target. She can survive on the Spiderlings. As long as she's kept alive, again, the, the the higher you can do, the better. Even with only that, even with 92, you can see that there are still problems with it. And before I went, I believe I used this Seth. Yes. Um, Stalwart, because of the AoE damage, you want to keep her alive because she keeps Bell alive. Um, again, try to get as high speed as you can. Supreme defense. She's pretty much built for uh, for my uh, well, she well, she is on my Griffin ninety team or Griffin one ten team on um, auto. That's why she has a very high accuracy. I made it a point to give her that because of the Griffin boss, but this works as well. Even, even with this four hundred, you can see that she still sometimes misses. Um. 
I, I don't have a, a higher accuracy data for him. Alright, moving down the list, we've got a Warcaster. He <laughs> didn't even have any boots on or anything. Uh, he's at a 206 speed. Uh, yeah, he could be at 250. Again, crit rate there. High crit rate, high crit damage. Just having another damage dealer there to help out is nice. Again, didn't even have any boots on. Just barely built. Because um, I have a different TV team, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of funny, actually. I wonder if... Uh, you would think the Spires will attack him because of, he's definitely the weaker one. But. And finally, of course, Dagonite. Uh, pretty simple. Make sure that he's faster than Sep so he can hit the defense down. And then your other champions can go. Um, obviously, he's not you know faster than Warcaster, which is does hurt the run a little bit. But um, accuracy, pretty low. I'm not going to lie. His accuracy is very low. This is not a very good build. I mean, this was slapped on together pretty much last minute. Um, I'm definitely going to make some changes to him. Definitely going to be an accuracy banner now. But you can see this is not really that great of a team. There's a lot of flaws in them. Which gives you hope that you can do this as well. And that's uh, basically it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for the length how long it took to do the boss. But I wanted to show you in details how to do it. Alright, uh, take care. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one.